Good evening, people. Good evening. Hello. Okay. Okay, let's wait. Okay, one more time. Good evening, people. How are you? My name is Saul Montoya. Let me introduce myself. Tell you a little bit about me. Um, well, I've been an English teacher for more than 25 years. Actually. I think almost 30 years I started teaching. Uh, I have worked with different institutions, but most, mostly private schools, different academies, but I have been working with Inglés Corporativos for eight or nine years now, and particularly with the English for Work program, always, always with INSAFOR. I, during the quarantine, I worked with a call center from home. I have never tried that experience, but I decided to try during the quarantine. And it was a good experience. So I work as a call center call center agent for what maybe eight months, something. And the first account where I worked at is was a nice account. The second one didn't like it. I didn't like it, and so I quit. Then I started working as an interpreter for another company, a, a Peruvian company, actually. And it was good. I work uh, interpreting for banks, insurance companies, um, utilities, uh, services companies like uh, water, electric, electricity, gas, internet. And it was good because I was just uh, in the middle between the customer, the Latinos customers and the providers of the service. You know? So I was not solving problems. I was just interpreting. Then I work uh, in the medical field with the same company, interpreting for doctors, nurses, and uh, hospitals. I learned a lot, a lot of vocabulary, a lot of language. But the problem is that they pay too low, too low, too little. Just $3 per hour. And they make all the money, no? They make all the money. The different companies that are in the middle, they got the money. So I prefer to be teaching. This is my, this is my, my charcoal teaching better for me. 
So I've been teaching for more than 25 years. I live in Lourdes. Um, else, I'm married, have four children, all of them grown up. And that's me. I wanted to introduce myself to let you know a little bit about me. I'm sorry I started the class a little bit late, but the things I have a, a class from seven to nine, actually, I I was supposed to finish that class at 9, 10. But we are going to fix that tomorrow because I'm still working with that group from 7 to 9, 10. Uh, I, I was finishing the class and I, I started thinking, I have a class at 9 and they gave me a, this group. But anyways, tomorrow we are going to see what are we going to do with those 10 minutes? But that's me, okay? That's me, nice to be here with you. And I'd like to know a little bit about you. So please introduce yourself a little bit. Tell me where are you from? Where do you work? What do you do? Let me know a little bit about you. Who starts voluntarily? Ah, don't be shy. Hi, Hi, Hi. Um, my name is Nidia Marroquí. Good evening. Hi. I live in Cincinnati. Um, and I work as a pharmacy. And I am 40, 41 years old. And I live with my husband uh, and my two sons. And um, my favorite hobby is uh, watching TV and spending, spending time with my my children. Okay. Okay, and my expectations, I don't know, are to learn English, to speak or read, okay, about uh, write uh, and talking. Okay. Okay. So no. you are the pharmacy oh right now, right? Yes, I have a I come Yeah, I was I have a day of of day or the or today. Mm -hmm. uh, my but the bus for taken and I had to cover it. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, nice to meet you, Nidia. Okay, Edgar, go ahead. Hi, good evening, Mr. Hi. Uh, my, my name is Edgar Abel Tejada. I am uh, I live in I am from Chalatenango and also I live in here in Chalatenango. Okay. So I I work in my own job in a in a Tigo Money. I have a little store, Tigo Money. Oh, and okay. yeah, I, I, I like to practice in my free time. I like to practice uh, like soccer or softball sport. Oh, okay. I, I, yeah. I like to uh, visit my family once a week. I, I used to go to the beach like twice a year. Okay. And that's it. And that's it. Okay. Nice meeting you, Edgar. Thank you. Nice to meet you too. Anna, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Joanna Yesenia Garcia de Hernandez. I'm married. I have children. Uh, I don't work. Uh, no sé cómo me dice un for, trabajo formal. Okay. Eh, I, I have a business. Eh, I, I sell shoes. Oh, And okay. uh, I like I like to be called Joanna. Okay, Joanna. Well, my expectations is a uh, get it a better job. Uh, 
better in count. Uh, only that. Nice meeting you. Okay. And where do you live, Joanna? Oh, I'm living in Lopango. In Lopango. Okay. Great. Nice meeting you. Me too. Okay. Who's next? Okay, Rafael, go ahead. Hi, uh, my name is Rafael Anaya. I am 20 years old. I am a student, a university student right now. And I study uh, an engineering in software development. And I am a developer, a junior developer. And the English was uh, important for me because some of works in the development area are in English. And I love learn new things always and uh, i love pets i love dogs cats uh, it's not a hobby but it's something that represents me and i always that see a dog i i love it and i don't know that is all for me right now where are you right now sorry where are you so where, where you live i i am live in san Salvador right now okay Nice meeting you, Rafael. Okay, next. Celia? Hello, Go good ahead. evening, everyone. Okay. Go ahead, Cesar, you started already. And then hey, Cecilia. nice to see you again, parents, parents. Hey. My name is Cesar Reyes. I live in Wizucar. I am 30 years old. And actually, I'm studying public accounting at the university. My free in my free times, I like to I like to read novels and working out at the gym. I like watching movies and listening to music. And I actually I am working in a business like an assistant, and I live in Vizucar La Libertad. Okay. Just like everyone, nice to see you again. Nice meeting you, Cesar. Okay, Cecilia. Good evening, everyone. My name is Cecilia Adrián. I am Mary. I I am. 33 years old. I have a son and I live in Ilopango, San Salvador. I work as assistant and I love the animals too. And my hobbies are read and watch movies. Nice okay. to meet you, teacher. Nice meeting you, Cecilia. Go ahead, Andrea. Hi, good. I don't know if you can hear me well. Oh, because I have, yeah, oh, I have yeah. headphones that are kind of new, so I don't okay. know if you can hear me now. Yeah. Better? Oh, yeah. well. Uh, my name is Andrea Fabiola. You can call me Andrea. It's fine for me. I'm a college student in my fifth year. Also, I'm a human resources assistant. And I live in San Salvador. I don't know what. I'm 20 years old, and I don't know what more can I say about me. Okay, that's fine. Okay, okay. welcome. Thank you. Okay. Who's missing? Edson, Tanya, Irma, Ileana, Reina, Alejandra, Catherine. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening. My name is Edson Stanley Hernandez. Uh, I live in, in San Salvador and I am 33 years old. I live in with uh, my my wife, my son. Uh, actually, I work as an assistant in an industrial glassworks. And in my free time, I like uh, uh, painting and and uh, I like uh, watching the movies 
Okay. That's it, teacher. Perfect. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Edson. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. My name is uh, um, Reina Elizabeth Guerrero Gaitan. I live in Planet de Rendero, Panchimalco. I work in Teotepeque, La Libertad. I am hmm. a teacher. <laughs> okay. I am a teacher. Um, um, I have two daughters. Beautiful daughter. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's only. <laughs> okay. Good. Nice to meet you, teacher. <laughs> nice meeting you, Reina. Welcome. Okay. Next. Good night. Hello, Irma. My name is Irma Raquel. I live in Aguachapan. I am married. I have two daughters. My family and me go to the church. Uh, my in my free time, I like watch TV. Hmm? No more. Okay, Irma. Welcome. Anyone else? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, my name is Tania Pamela Montoya. I live in the front in Santa Rosa de Lima, La Unión. Um, I'm a single mom. Um, I I had the only child. Uh, in my free time, I listen to music. Okay, great. Okay, welcome. Anyone else? Hi, good evening. Good evening. Um, my name is Alejandra. I am 26 years old. I live in Santa Ana and just that. <laughs> okay. No problem. Welcome. Anyone else? Hello, good evening. Good evening. My name is Catherine Hernandez. I am 24 years old. I live in Ciudad Delgado. I live with my parents. I am graduate of the legal sciences major. Um, okay. I enjoy doing, doing the most is reading, uh, listening to music, and watching series. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you too. Anyone else? That's it. Okay. Let me see. I need to take an attendance. Oh. Yeah. What's going on? Okay. Sorry, I'm having a problem with the file for the attendance. Loading and very slow. Okay. Let's see. Alejandra Beatriz Guzman is present. Here, teacher. Okay. Andrea Fabiola Menjiva. Welcome. Okay. Cecilia de Los Ángeles, Adriana. Here, teacher. Yeah. César Guadalupe Enríquez. 
Here, teacher. Thank you, Edgar Abel Tejada. I'm here, teacher. Okay, Edson Stanley Hernandez. Yes, I'm teacher. Thank you, Elvira Lorenza Alvarez. Present teacher. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Liana Marielos Guerrero. I'm here. Okay, Irma Raquel Garcia. Present teacher. Thank you. Joana Yesenia Garcia. Present teacher. Okay, Jose Daniel Chavez. Catherine Alejandra Hernández. Present. Okay. Nidia Esmeralda Marroquín. Present teacher. Ok. Rafael Alejandro Anaya. Present. Thank you. Reina Elizabeth Guerrero. Present teacher. Ok. Samuel Isaac Flores. Está tratando de entrar y no puede, Pichel. Okay. Eh, Tania Pamela Montoya. Present. Ok. En Vilma Gladys Cartagena. Ok. Let's see. Let's get started with our manual. I think you have the manual already. Uh, uh -oh. All of you were able to get into the platform. Okay, this is the manual manual we're going to be using, okay? For this module. And oh no, I didn't see this in. Have you received this in any other way? Because I didn't see it in the Do you have this document, people? Oh, yes, you have it. Okay. I didn't see it in the platform. Okay. Let's start with tonight's lesson. That's what friends are for. Oh, what are friends for? Why do we need friends? What can you tell me? I remember a son that says that. That's what friends are for. Do you know? Can you tell me one reason or one thing that friends for support, are for? For, for support. supporting us. Yes, when we are disappointed. Yes. Anything else, people? You don't have friends. It's difficult these days to have friends, actually, real friends. Do you have friends? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. real friends? Okay, good for you. I have some friends. Well, let's see. There is a a survey here about love and marriage in North America. Okay. Let me ask one of the girls in the class. Read this. Alejandra, can you read me what women look for in a partner? And this is what they think. Can you read this? What women look for in a partner? Okay, Le leadership qualities, earnings potential, a sense of humor, intelligence, job skills, success. Hey, good. Leadership qualities, 
earnings potential, money, a sense of humor, intelligent, job skills, success. Well, would you like to add something else, ladies? What else? What else? you would like to add to this list? What do you think women should look for in a part? I would like you to write one thing, one more thing if you have in the chat. Or wanna say it, say it. No more, that's enough for you. Ah, someone is writing. Let's see. Good look. <laughs> ah, romantic. Okay. What else? That's it? Okay. Well, now let's see. Is here a man? Be a good person. Ah, okay, no problem here. Okay, let's see. Cesar, would you like to read what they think a man look for in a partner? Okay, Cesar? There, these are. Okay, let's see, Edgar. Hello. Oh, hello, these are. Could you read what they say that men look for in a partner? That's right. Physical attractiveness, warmth and affection, homemaking ability, fashion sense, Social skills and sensitivity. Sensitivity. Uh, sensitivity. Okay. Hey guys, do you agree, men, boys? Do would you like to add something else to that list? Yes or no? If you think kindness, there's some... kindness, support. Uh, okay. Huh? Anything else? Okay. Look at this here. How men and women rate five aspects of a relationship. Very important, unimportant. For men, is this? For women, is this. Friendship, very important for men. Passion. Selflessness. Practicality. Faithful men. Okay, interesting survey. But as they say, that's in America, in North America. Maybe Latinos, we are a little bit different. Okay. Uh, okay. In your opinion, which of the qualities above these ones are most important to look for in a part? Are there other important qualities missing from the list? Well, you mentioned some of them. Ah, how do people meet their partners in your country? That's an interesting question. In general, how do you think people meet their partners here in El Salvador? What do men and, and women do to meet someone? Using a social, uh, I mean, going to parties. Ah, okay. Ah. Or using social network. Okay. 
there are a lot of apps now, right? Big people. <laughs> but have you seen a program called Catfish? That's interesting. Look for that. B, Catfish. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at this conversation. I like guys who... Uh, look at the picture. Before reading, before reading, I want you to look at the, at the picture. Tell me, what what do you see here? What, what do you think they are talking about? About the guy in the yeah, this know, guy in the club, they the bubble. are friends. The dialogue bubble, the dialogue of the thinking bubble. Okay, maybe they are talking about this guy. Wow, let's read the conversation. Let's read the conversation. And first, I will read it and I will record it. The audio here, in case you want to practice, okay? It's a conversation between Chris and Kim. Do you have a date for the party yet? Actually, I don't. Do you know anyone I could go with? Hmm, what kind of guys do you like? Oh, I like guys who aren't too serious and who have a good sense of humor. You know, someone like you. Hmm. Okay. Uh, what else? Well, I prefer someone I have something in common with, who I can talk to easily. I think I know just the guy for you. Bob Branson. Do you know him? Oh, I don't think so. Okay. I'll ask him to meet us for coffee, and you can tell me what you think. Hey, it's like a little cupid. One more time, listen. Do you have a date for the party yet? Actually, I don't. Do you know anyone I could go with? Hmm, what kind of guys do you like? Oh, I like guys who aren't too serious and who have a good sense of humor. You know, someone like you. Okay, uh, what else? Well, I prefer someone I have something in common with. I can talk easily. I think I know just the guy for you. No brands? You know him? No, I don't think so. Okay. I'll ask him to meet us. You can tell me what you think. Good. Let's practice, please. Repeat after me. Do you have a date for the party yet? Do you, you have, a have a date, 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 date for the party yet? yet? Actually, I don't. Do you know Actually, anyone? I don't. Do Actually, I don't. Actually, I don't. Do you know anyone? Do you know anyone I could go with? Go with? Go with? Go with? Go with? Hmm, what kind of guys do you like? Hmm, what kind of guys do you like? What kind of guys do you like? To like? Oh, I like guys who aren't too serious and who have good sense of humor. You know, someone like you. Oh, oh I like guys, I like guys, guys, guys who aren't too serious, serious. and who have a good sense, sense of humor. Of you know, know someone, someone like, like you. Someone 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 like you. I prefer someone I have something in common with. Well, I can talk to well, easily. Well, I prefer well, someone I, prefer I prefer someone, someone I have someone I have someone well, I can talk, well, I can talk to easily. Who I can. I think I know just the guy Bob Branson. Do you know him? I, I think I, I know just the guy for you, you Ransom. Do you know him? No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I don't think, I don't think, so. I don't think so. so. Okay, I'll ask him to meet us for coffee. You can tell me what you think. 
Okay. 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 I'll, I'll okay. ask you to, to meet us for, for coffee. And you can okay. tell me, tell me what, what you think. Okay. 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 I'll send you a couple of minutes, five minutes, to practice the conversation in pairs. Okay. Let me form some groups quickly here. And. your groups please and practice the conversation okay a couple of times see you in five minutes Oh, some of you are not joining the groups. That's and
Okay, okay. I hope you had time to practice. Oh, we are in a hurry today. No problem. Okay, look at these sentences in the conversation. Teacher, I have a question. Uh huh. Tell me. Uh, okay. And the uh, and the 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 manual does mm -hmm. not appear on the platform. No, no, that's why I was asking you. Okay, I will send send it through WhatsApp for you. Okay. For you. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Uh, look at this. Uh, Sentences I highlighted. I like guys who aren't too serious. I like guys who aren't too serious. Who have a good sense of humor. I prefer someone I have something in common with. Who I can talk to easily. So this so these are what we call relative pronouns. Okay, relative pronoun. Look at these examples here. Relative pronouns as sub. We talk about relative pronouns. We are talking about these verbs. Who? That very okay, here is who and that or that. We have two sentences here. I like guys, they aren't too serious. We combine them using this relative pronoun. I like guys who aren't too serious, or I like guys that. Aaron to zero. Okay, we use these relative pronouns for that to combine them. I I like guys. They have a good sense of humor. Oh, I like guys who have a good sense of humor. Okay. I prefer someone. Oh, this is another. The pronouns as. Uh, object. Well, I prefer someone I can talk to him easily. I prefer someone who I can talk to easily. The same thing. Who or that? I prefer someone who I have fun with. So we can use them here. That's why they are in parentheses. You see. We can use them or not. So if I say, I prefer someone I can talk to easily. Perfect. No problem. Okay, I didn't use these relative pronouns. And omit them. I prefer someone I can talk to easily. Great. I prefer someone who I can talk to easily. Okay. I prefer someone that I can talk to easy. Perfect. Okay, so that's why they are in parentheses here, because we can in this. Okay. Um now this. Let's do this. We have um, two sets of sentences or pairs of sentences. The idea is to match them and to combine them into one sentence. Look at this example. Is from this exercise. I don't want to have a partner. I have nothing in common with this person. Find, I don't want to have a partner. 
who I have nothing in common with. Huh? I don't want to have a partner who I have nothing in common with. I would like you to combine other sentences here. So the idea is to, you, you should match all of them, okay? And combine them into one sentence. For example, another one. I like to meet people. I like to meet people on, uh, which one do you think? Good. These people are organized and intelligent. These people have a good sense of humor. These people are warm and sensitive. Letter B, maybe, teacher. Yeah, I will. I would go with letter B. I like to meet people okay, who have a good sense. Uh, no, okay, a good leadership. Uh, who have good leadership qualities. Maybe. The idea is to match the exercise is more more um the objective is not exactly combine the sentences one with another exactly, but make a combination, okay? Make, to, to put them together in one set. Want to combine those two? Perfect. I like to meet people, but I don't think this is the best because this is talking about people and this is talking about one person. Probably it's not the best here. But maybe, ah, but what about talking about you? Talking about you. I like to meet people. What kind of people would you like? Let's forget about this. Uh, let's do it better about ours. For example, I like to meet people who have a good sense of humor. Okay. Great sense. Of humor. I prefer I prefer a roommate. This person is quiet and considerate. And considerate. Okay, how would you combine those into one sentence using relative pronoun? I prefer a roommate who is quiet and considered. Yes. Good. I don't like to be with people. I don't feel com comfortable around, of, ah. around these people. Okay. Okay, people, let's work with the, those ones. Four and F. I want you to write a sentence like the example, combining both sentences into one with the relative pronouns and write it in the chat. Everybody, please write a sentence like this in the chat, binding number four and letter F. Number four and letter F. Write in the chat, please, here in Zoom. I don't like to be with people. I don't feel comfortable around these people. Read him. Write him in the write it in the chat, please. Okay. 
Okay, let's see, Andrea. I don't like to be with people who I don't feel comfortable. Uh, to meet people that are warm and sensitive. Okay. 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 Okay, good. Now, I want you to I want you to forget this part. Forget this part. And write about you. Write about you using this first sentence. Okay, using the the first sentences Write about you. Forget about forget about this. Okay, forget about this. Now write about you. Any any sentence. I don't like to be with people. Complete it by yourself. I don't want to discuss my problems with friends who. I'd rather have a boss who bah, 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 bah. I want to hear see your own sentences. Split sentences. Start with start with this. I'd rather have a boss who plain. I prefer to have teachers that I don't like to be with people that I want to see your own ideas, not the ideas from the books, or your own ideas. Um, okay, let me see. Corner. E. E. Okay. Right on. I prefer go to places that are quiet. Okay. Good. I don't like to be with people that are not honest. Okay, let me say honest. Okay. I like to meet people who like to go out and play games. Okay, right. I like to have friends who love going out with me. Right. I like to meet people who are funny. Yeah. Like to meet people who have good patient. Okay, just let me patient. Have more patient. Or who are patient. Okay. 
Okay. Waiting for your sentences here in the chat, people. Or I like to meet people that practice and explore. Okay, good. My people who eat with all. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like with people who are very noisy or complaining. Good, very good. Okay, I've been reading your sentences, but I like now. Please, let's take time and and read your sentences by yourself. Think. Okay? Oh, speak. Read what you. Put in the chat. Ah, speak. I would like to meet people that practice any sport. Okay. Good. Thank you, Edgar. Well, Next. Next. Come on. Um, I don't want to have a partner who is noisy. Okay. Good. Next. Ah, what well, you put in the chat? Read it. Read your I sentence. like to meet people who are funny. Okay. I don't like to be, to be with people who are too boring are too boring boring yes boring ah, okay okay <laughs> <Aburridos>. <laughs> yeah boring okay you're listening I don't like to be with people who aren't friendly. Okay. Good. Make me ask you. Yeah. I like to be with sociable people who like to have fun and exchange ideas. Good. One more. We finish tonight. There are good sentences. That. That's it. Okay, Irma. I don't like if people are boring. Okay. Okay, people. Well, it's time to stop tonight. It's 10 on 5. We started at 9 on 5. We'll continue tomorrow, and I will put the manual there in, in WhatsApp, okay, for everyone, okay? Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Have a good night, people. Have a good night. Thank, Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.